Alright, what's poppin' Real 16 TV? It's Cuz OP here back with another reaction. This time we're gonna be reacting to Rory from, uh, used to be on Joe Rogan's podcast, basically calling out DJ Vlad and saying that Adam went soft on him. Now, if you wanna watch the full video, you're gonna have to go to nojumper.com. If you wanna watch the clip, you're gonna have to go to No Jumper Clips. Screen recording starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Video playing now. I don't like beef. How do you feel about Vlad? I like Vlad. Legend. He pretty much invented the space. In What's the ways. thing on the table? Don't give the white man that much credit. I mean, <laughs> he was ahead of the curve on damn near everything in terms of like what Come. YouTube content Come. was going to look like. And he Price was the first school. person through the wall and he took all the shit for it. And now everybody else does all the same shit that he used to do. Myself included. So, I sure well, I would love yeah, a big chief sponsor Vlad or get shit a cone sponsor. Of it's not the 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 just talking. It's his <laughs> intent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, and the outcome there's of a it because his intent comes off. I've never met the gentleman. It comes across that he does not give a fuck. He's there for the view, just the view. Fuck what happens with the culture, and the outcome tends to be that way as well. So his okay. intent is bad, and his outcome is. Bad. It's less that his intent is bad. It's more like his. Uh, the aftermath be fucked up, you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, Rollo, the situation with Rollo. Rollo says all that shit, gets caught up when there, there's no follow-up. There's not really no Vlad being a part of the checkup. It's not that Vlad had to help or nothing, because it's not, it's not, um, it's not his responsibility, but it looked like he cared nothing about checking up on bro. And there's other artists and stuff like that. It After a while, he started to be like, I don't want you to incriminate yourself, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to ask these questions anyways to the point where people started to think he was the police. And if they think you're the police, I don't think that means you're actually the police, but they feel like you're trying to incite some sort of problems or try to get people in trouble. And I think that's more, I think Vlad is more about the aftermath. I don't think his intention is bad because he started off making like, um, documentaries for the hyphy movement in Oakland and all that stuff he started off being a part of the culture so I don't know if it's that but I just don't think he gives a fuck no more I think it's about the bread and as far as certain situations I'm not saying yeah. not anyone indicted I'm not being that that person but that's how a lot of people view him yeah I mean from knowing Vlad I know that he probably cares more about the result in terms of his interviews like he's just told me that he's done yeah. things that I could never imagine doing and that I was shocked to hear any mm. person say in the sense like that he called the fucking police department when he interviewed the baby to make sure that the Walmart situation was a closed case because he really wanted to ask him about it mm. and he wanted to be able to say definitively like, I, that this was a closed case or whatever. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is wild, but it's also smart. I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know. That shit is kind of weird. When you think about it out loud, because it's like, why well, go to that extent just so you could ask a question? If anything, you might be inciting more problems for the baby. But it's low key genius because he called to make sure he couldn't get the nigga in trouble. It's just more like it doesn't make sense. Like, why would you go to that extent? Like, it's kind of weird. But is it smart that he did go to that extent? Yeah, it's it's one of the things where you can't have one without the other. It's pretty smart that he went to that extent. But when bringing it up, it is kind of strange sounding seeming and feeling i can't even lie that's just because at first i was trying to be like ah but i'm like man nah that do sound kind of crazy i bet the baby probably that pro that could have made the baby uncomfortable with the interview he might not feel comfortable because if you uh interviewing people that don't feel like um they they like the police per se and uh you you out here like I already called them. I'm cool. They're gonna be like, man, you might be them, like, per, and that might ruin your interview. I, I think. But go on. when I heard him say that, I was like, oh, that's a step that I never would have thought of in terms of making sure that his interview so, well, didn't. All right, let's okay, let's hypothetically talk. And I promise this has nothing to do with Vlad saying poor things about me or any fake back and forth we've ever had. Mm -hmm. Do you think his intent was to make sure the baby was good and that case was closed, or he'd been called that so much? That he can bring up in another interview to say, hey, do you know that I did this? Hey, do you know this? Do you and know now, this? Now hey, do you know that? Like, is going he, down a rabbit hole. Yeah, is, is he now just starting to do that because he's been called this so much? Or he's, a, he's a smart yeah, dude. We're and all strategic products. Dude. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. For sure. I see what he's trying to say. He's saying because he got known for doing that, is he making it a habit? Is he making his career out of fumbling and fucking around and shit? And when I say fumbling and fucking around, I mean like 
since he since he's already being called out for being kind of like the cop, is he playing on that gimmick of let me have um what's the dude's name Nardwar? Is he trying to know as much about you before uh, we talk so you could be like Vlad? How the fuck you know that Vlad? What the fuck Vlad? And that's honestly genius. His is very career boosting in my mind, and you can't call the man unsmart for that. I think that's. Just, yeah, I think if they already calling you the police and it's helping out your videos, you might as well keep doing shit that makes people think you're the police if you're not the police. And if you are, do it anyways. Throw these niggas off your trail. I don't fucking know. I, shit, I really don't, but this shit's entertaining. Shit, the worst shit I ever read about myself on Twitter is like stuff that really I probably internalized and it made me think twice about what I was putting out there in the world. Oh, no, you know? I, there's a lot of hate I've gotten that I've... Take them like they write. Yeah, if you they're can't take they're some, they're, some, they're definitely something right. from them, <laughs> no, your I'm, biggest hater, then you're probably. But I'm saying, was it only for him going? Damn, maybe I should look out for these artists. The king that can't handle the fool is a tyrant. Remember that. Just remember that the king that can't handle the fool is a tyrant. A good king can can listen to what the fool is saying about him and understand his constructive criticism. Playing on and this culture that I'm. Profiting I'll off give of, you another or example. Or do you think he's just doing it to say now, hey, look at me, I did this. Vlad did a banger Tax Stone interview like a couple days before he got locked up. Tax Stone, my guy. I love Tax Stone. Yeah. You know, the Tax like, Stone Vlad interview. Like, I think he does put people's freedom above you okay, know, his so own personal let interest. Let me ask you a question, and I, and I hope that shout out to Tax. And when he likes him. Maybe, no matter the result of that entire situation, what do we think Vlad's going to do? Ask people about it on the podcast? No, I think he's going to put it out. Oh, after the fact? Uh, maybe. And I think Six he's I think later. he's I think he's holding something that he knows now because he's a smart businessman. Mm. He was not holding that for some moral reasons. But I interviewed Tax like that same week. So I don't think that Tax was saying anything incriminating. Because when I asked him about that situation, I, he's no, no, that's Adam, that's yeah. my point. He's not holding that for moral reasons, and I'm not mad at mm -hmm. him for that. He's holding that because he knows whenever that trial happens, he has a tax interview. That's a business move. That's not a moral move. And I'm not mad at, at tax for that. I'm, I'm sorry, Vlad, for that. Yeah, of course you're going to hold that. Yeah, Don't say that's it, some, like, moral, cultural shit. if he had shit. dropped it at the time, it would have been getting views yeah. all throughout. But, yeah, and what he's about to say, and then also it's like, well, after after the, the trial is over or whatever, whatever he says can incriminate him. So even if it is a business move, it's still a move. Like I said, one way without the other. It's still a move that keeps a... Uh, Tax Stone from going through more shit because of something that Vlad posted. Because as you see now, they're taking everything rappers do and say and trying to incriminate them for it. I, I think it, it, it's smarter for uh, him to wait till after bro's trial just so he doesn't hurt bro's life, to be honest. Whereas if he drops it six years after Tax gets popped, I mean, is anyone going to even care? I mean, not as much as... Are you as... crazy? Yeah, but if when he had dropped it back starts, then... That... But, why, but people don't want to watch an old interview. Yeah. yeah. Vlad's whole platform yeah, is flashbacks. Yeah, I have some great old interviews, and I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure if I dropped them, that nobody would care because the world has just moved on. One thing that I can say about Vlad dealing uh, with myself, the first thing he told me is... I think it'd be cool to see you your old like stuff. like nothing that you sit in here, let me know, I'll yeah. take that cool. shit out. And I thought that that was cool because I was, I was, I'm hearing the theories, and I'm like, okay, yeah. he going to try to trip me out and say some shit. And a lot of times, bro, you go places... These people are not media trained. You mm -hmm. feel me? They go say some bullshit, and then they go, hey... I said some fucked up shit. Can you take it out? How many times do you think that he hears that shit? Mm -hmm. you I think a lot, but then also I think some motherfuckers, they, they, they want to take out shit that's unreasonable too. It's like, bro, you already said some shit that I, I per se probably would have needed. You should have never said that shit. Like, it's going to be hard for me to tell you no. And if, if, if I do take it out, it got to be some shit to where I think I'm going to ruin your life. Like, you're going to be in jail or blah, blah, blah. But if you say some crazy shit that just makes you look crazy and you can't get in trouble for it, of course I'm not going to take that shit out. Uh, maybe if we partners, but, like, more than likely not. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, it's always, fuck you, because now you making me look bad. Like, nah, nigga, you made yourself look bad. If, if, and if this nigga the police, exactly. why the fuck are you even going over there? Up, exactly. Up until, say that. Up until this, this specific podcast, the only thing I've really talked about with Vlad is I feel he takes advantage of younger kids that don't realize what they're saying. They just see a huge platform and they try to get out of the circumstance they're in. And that's one of the biggest platforms. And I think it's exploited to some degree. I'm not mad at, at Vlad talking to grown men. And if they want to criminate themselves, that's on them. 
That's the only thing I've ever said. And then Vlad, which we know, this is a fact, is one of the most sensitive people ever. <laughs> <laughs> he created in his head that I've just been shitting on Vlad. That's the only thing I've said for real about Vlad. And then he called me unintelligent. And when you start attacking, like, all right, now you're doing something. I was just talking about your platform. Mm. Yeah. Now you're trying to say yeah, I'm now stupid. Now y'all like yeah. beefing or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can say that about... I know my ABC. You can say that about and a lot of people. You know, like, clearly, like, Orlando Brown... Is not of sound mind, and he'll get not. a million interviews from everybody. It's, mm-hmm. just, it's the same shit. <laughs> Our own people will do it to us. Everybody will do that. Because right now, like, everybody's just looking for that click. Okay. They want that revenue and shit like yeah. that, too. So we can't just say, oh, Vlad is the only one doing it. Nah. Oh, we were going to do the Kanye. Yeah, everybody That's doing it. That's what I'm saying. And then even before, it's entertaining. out of slack for the boot gang interview. They like why did Adam? You know what I'm saying? Well, that's Inter- Orlando Brown is from Nassau Raven. You're not curious about what the dude from Nassau Raven is doing right now. Come on, there's so many people that watch that show. Hell, I think the dude from Corey in the House is rapping. That's interesting, too, for the motherfuckers who watched it. What's the girl doing? The other girl. It's entertainment, bro. You gotta see. Plus, that nigga's doing crazy shit now. So that makes it even more interesting. Just saying. The interview that wouldn't have came out if it wasn't live. And, and he probably get paid for the interview, but so the they're probably helping was, his like, life to a degree. He was off of something. You feel me? But you're not thinking about the shit like I that. I beg people to watch the but full you, context of that interview, so you could see me begging him to not come on camera. But the the other platforms doing it, theory. I don't know if I really rock with because if you want to be the biggest platform, you are the face of it, and now you need to take the heat for everything below you. Of course, there's a million that. platforms that do what Vlad does. Mm. No, I'm not talking about them because Vlad is the biggest one and he's the face of it. Yeah. So he has to take the heat for everyone else that does it. I'm not going to sit here and condemn every other YouTube platform. But don't you get don't why, we get mad why? when I don't we get mad when the police make martyrs out of him, like that? You know, sort of baiting young kids into incriminating I didn't themselves. Say baiting. I, I mean that that even if that's true, that's such a microscopic part of like what his interviews are. Like his interviews aren't even like mostly rappers, I would say at this point. You know, he interview and like the, the percentage of like really young dudes that Vlad interviews is like really small. I go to see Boozy. Yeah. I love Boozy. Whenever I look at it, it's a bunch of old heads I never Does heard of. Does Boozy do interviews with anybody else? I, I only see him on Very Vlad. Very yeah, I only see him on But him and Vlad have a financial relationship. You know? Yeah, they have a financial situation, but just recently he started going on more channels. Like he was on uh, Drink Champs. He was on a couple more. I just can't think. I think he was on 85 South. He he started, he, he said because he was promoting his book, which I'm going to read. I'm sure it's a good book. But, um... Most of the time he is on Vlad because they have a good financial situation. I think Vlad pay, pays his regulars so well that they almost don't see a point in getting an interview from anybody else. Real shit. Which is genius, honestly. Oh, okay. oh clearly. So yeah. I think it makes sense for him to Listen, focus on Vlad. I, I've loved I've loved Yayo on his platform. I've watched it. Yeah. Like, I don't not watch it. It was entertaining, Vlad's too. Yeah, yeah. But there was a time that was building that platform that was that type of shit. It's certainly changed, which is cool. But again, I think a lot of that had to do with the flack he was getting. And cool. You get criticism, change it. But we can't pretend like that wasn't a thing at one point. I feel like Vlad pisses a lot of people off on a personal level. And then they kind of judge the platform as a result. Or Mm -hmm. even like the way he conducts his interviews. Sometimes, yes, it can feel a little bit like copish. You know, it kind of feels like Mm -hmm. he's getting the but entirety my, that might be of the, the gimmick information now. on the a point, story. The point of an interview is pretty much what police do. So, of yeah. course, it's going to come across that way. But, like, yeah. he does things in interviews that I don't necessarily do where he'll, like, actually have, like, an entire outline of your whole life and ask you about <laughs> each thing step by step. Which That's your Wikipedia page. It's actually uh, very good, like, in terms of, like, breaking down somebody's life. Yeah. But it does come across a certain way. Which there is a bunch of different processes. Personally, I like Adam's process. The... Um, I'm going to talk to you and we'll have a regular conversation and we'll just see where it grow- goes from there and stuff like that. But knowing a lot about their life, it sometimes makes the interview a, a little bit better because then there's a lineup of questions that you know people are curious about. But it does come off copish. And he's right, interviewing is the same thing that basically police do. So it's it's going to seem like that no matter what. But it is about the questions you ask and how you word them, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just think it's funny that AD and Moe are watching us have white on white crime. I love yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, this is, this is <laughs> That's why I asked Vlad to come. I will do you proud. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't have anything personal with, with that. I just think it's a conversation. Right. That's all. Because yeah. I, I let that whole unintelligent shit fly. Mm. And just minding my business. But it's interesting that you're still connected to your 
prior it's boss's funny, ops. It's funny because Tax Tone... I can just change your attitude. Have you it's up? funny because Tax Tone had a whole issue with Joe Button, who used to be on the show with them, where he made it seem like he was unintelligent. Tax Tone was like, bro, when I see him in person, I got some shit to say to him. So I think it's ironic that... that uh, Ma, my fault is it Rory? Rory's doing the basically the same shit. Why well, would he have his ops? No, I don't. Oh. Know, but that's just weird to me to even <laughs> begin with. Like, and even Vlad said that in that same thing. Like, oh, you know, he could have done an interview with me had he not done that. I don't want to do an interview. Mm. I promise you, if Vlad hit me at any point in my what are you hiding, life, Rory? Vlad will find it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I would like. It's funny someone saying I would never do an interview with you when you wouldn't never accept an interview. Like, you don't think it would be good you. for the podcast overall? Couldn't yeah. hurt, right? I, I, we don't base our in, entire podcast off... What so Weedy could have sold 10,000 or 10 times as many records if she had gone on Vlad. Yeah, Possibly. You believe that? Probably not, but... <laughs> You maybe, let you really, more. You don't and, believe that. And shit. because that's your man, you let him get that somewhere over. near. Uh, that was a crazy that. tweet. That was a, that, was that was probably sick. a bad tweet. Yeah. That was sick. Fair. <laughs> Ten times as like, much. Yeah. That's crazy. Maybe a small boost. How, how much percentage? Yeah, do you I think, think she'll get a boost. Flags, uh, is male. The percentage of his uh, demographic. Probably similar to ours, like eighty. Same. 85 yeah, ours is. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's a very well. good point. Yeah. So we were all gonna watch the sweetie interview and be like, yo. I gotta keep that gotta take. Cop I that. Gotta hit it out. <laughs> nah. Yeah, no, How many not. views is the clip getting where it's like. She would do views, don't get me wrong. Well, we would ask look at her face about. And talk. Yeah, I think more girls will click the video. Members of the Migos versus the clip that Sweetie talks about her new album. Right. I'm probably not going to clip I'm clicking on the first one. album. Yeah. First and one even though I know though. Sweetie probably won't. Go talk about baby Migos and all that. And I respect her for it. You want to see how she turns it down? You think. Yeah. <laughs> you think if she did that. All of Vlad's audience would have been like, Wolf, let me hear the bars. <laughs> nah. They're not listening to the album. But I would say yeah. that, you know. But they're curious about, like, everything she... would have been she, good promotion. Like, her oh, relationship. promotion that she yeah. wants, though, at this point. Because he would have been really asking her all the Come personal man. shit that she probably... Yeah. But she did put out a song, like, directly addressing it around that time yeah. as well. No, no matter what, it would be good promotion. I'm not saying it would direct... All promotion, it. good promotion. It should be good promotion. Yeah. Yo, we just hit 400,000 yeah. subscribers right. right here on so the Clips channel. That's so the end of that video or whatever. If you want to go see any more like it, you're going to have to go to No Jumper Clips or go to NoJumper.com. But basically, um, I didn't see really where they called Adam soft. I ain't going to lie. I just realized at the end of this Clips video, it looked like Cuz got socked in his face. But getting back to it or whatever, uh, Rory and Mal are cool dudes. I didn't see in their show by themselves. They used to be with Joe Budden. I don't really know what happened there. Um, entertaining guys. I didn't really see where they called them soft, but I do agree. DJ Vlad has a habit of like making himself seem like the police. And it wouldn't be so bad if he, his app, like I said, his aftermath of like showing like, oh, I actually do care about these people. This is just like how I approach my job. If it, if it looked better like that, then it'd make more sense. But to be honest, I think Vlad's falling off. I don't like his... Uh, his side interviewers it's not that they look bad Linnell cool it's not that they bad or whatever it's just because nobody's on camera it's like who the fuck cares um i'm used to just hearing his voice why are you so busy that you can't talk this is your whole bread and butter i'd rather just hear you that's what didn't make sense to me about the what was that other shit um before they got famous it's like bruh what else are you really doing i'd rather see you what's the point it's like I watched you build up this whole thing not to watch somebody else. I don't know. I just don't think Vlad shit is entertaining no more. There was a point in my life where I watched Vlad shit only, but it felt like it was the only thing. Like, when I found out what No Jumper was and all the rest of them, I definitely slid over there to them because I, I just found them more entertaining. But I used to watch Vlad shit for the information, and it, it seemed like he was getting everybody at the time. I, I was learning about rappers through him. I think I learned about Chef G through him. Like... I learned so much stuff through Vlad, but he just seems so irrelevant and unimportant these days. But um, continue to like, subscribe, and share. Continue to fuck with me. Continue to uh, comment, you know what I'm saying? Tell me how you feel about the video videos. Really subscribe to this motherfucker. Uh, bye.